Nice and refreshing to have a, such a gifted musician in the house, Jonathan T. Thank you so much for making the time. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. Yes, yes, and your lovely wife, Stacy. Yes. She's been so good to me. I, I told you we were setting up the sound, working with Drew Taylor. Thank you, Drew, for giving us a hand with the sound and Dean Loring. You see, now we hear the noise. I don't know if you guys can hear, but now we hear the noise back there. That's exactly <laughs> how it works. Uh, but anyway, doing everything, getting everything together takes time, right? Doing the sound check takes time. And like I said to Stacy, do you mind if I call you baby baby? And she said, no, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> I have a husband, so what the hell? <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel great. Today I is your birthday. It is my birthday. So very special to have you in the house. Yes. Let's talk you. about your music roots. Yes, I, I grew up in Texas, yes. um, so I, I was hugely influenced by Southern rock, uh, classic country music. And what do you guys call, so, uh, enlighten me and give you some education, because I don't know okay. anything about it. Well, I, I lived in Austin for many years, so I'll give you some examples of some artists, like Stevie Ray Vaughan, who's kind of a blues player, but he's got the special Texas blues sound. Um, uh, Willie Nelson is a great country artist, uh, and Hank Williams, and... Um, Merle Haggard and Waylon Jennings and uh, these, this, that's what I grew up on was country music and and uh, a little bit of rock and roll in there too. Yeah, so. it's a nice mix, but you you're very raw. Thank you. I, I, right? I try to keep it uh, honest, you know, yeah. and and for me that means slightly unpolished. So. What about Nirvana? I read that you like Nirvana too. Yes. Why? Um, um, well, because they did something with rock and roll that. I thought brought the passion back to it. At that time in music, every there was a lot of hair bands. It was it was kind of this, which no which was was a lot of fun. You yeah. know, it was everybody was having fun and everything. But the music was maybe lacking a little bit of substance. And they brought back some really raw energy to rock and roll. And I really appreciated that about them. Yeah. What's the biggest misconception about country musicians? You think? Well. I, I'm not sure if I'm in a place to, to answer that because I'm not a true country artist, um, but I, I think probably the, the greatest misconception is that, they're, that, that country music is simple. It's a deceptively, deceptively simple uh, art form. It's, the goal is to keep it in a, in a box that everyone can understand, and, and sometimes that's harder to do, especially with complex subject matter, to put it in terms that everyone can understand. Okay, what about the writing process? You like writing your songs? Yes, certainly. I, I write all my own songs. How does it work? How you write them down? How um, they come to you? A lot of times I'll get a melody first or I'll get a, a, a line, a sentence, and just some words that sound really good to me and I'll hum it in my head until I have a melody and then I'll figure out some chords for it and build the song around it from there. So you start with this? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I start with the guitar. Sometimes I just have words, and I have no idea what they're going to And they come to like. you in the middle of the night. You say, Stacy, I had a great idea. Hold the drill. <laughs> Let me go to the bathroom to clear my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> then I come out. How does that work from you? See, because everybody's very yeah. different. Well, I, when I wake up in the middle of the night, I try not to wake Stacy up. I try to just go to the side of the bed and I write it down on my iPhone if oh, I have a... Oh, but it doesn't have... Why? You see, this is what kills me. What happened with the paper? What happened with the pen? I, what I, happened to... I'll tell you, I'm disorganized when I'm sleeping. I always write with paper and pen. I don't write normally, but I, that's what's by my bedside. So okay. that's what's easy. And the ideas come to you and how long does it take you? It takes you an hour? It takes you five minutes? D it, it depends. Some some songs I've written in, in 15 minutes and some songs have taken me five months. And how do you know? That's interesting. How yeah. do you know when a song is good? When I feel it. When I get when I get chills when I play it, Right. then I, I feel like I'm on to something. And if you don't feel it, it's not going to be good? If I don't feel it, I keep working on it. Are you objective with your own work, Jonathan? I try to be. You try to be? I, Are you tough with yourself? I try to be, yeah. Are you obsessed with yourself? I try not to be. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm hitting you with so many questions. <laughs> but you see, sometimes I get so much into it, and I start having so much fun with my yeah. guests, that I completely forget that we have cameras on, and I just said, wait a second, what about my questions? <laughs> That's right. You know, but I'm, I'm getting on, I'm getting on. So what are we listening first? This uh, first song is called Save Me. It's a, a song I released in February of this year, okay. and uh, I wrote it when I was up in the mountains in Vermont with Stacy. Very cool. She's a nice chick. 
She's very grounded. She's very real. I like people who come from the heart. I said it before, right, Stacy? So I don't fake it until I make it, baby. What you see is what you get. So let's bring it on. It's all, all right. yours, Jonathan. Thank you. Knock him dead. see all the stars and I see the fireflies too yeah and I I see the top of the ridge yeah and I I see the quarter moon but this ever silent Rage inside me kills me slowly, makes me crazy. I am just one man, please save me. <laughs> I don't let the singer finish a song. No, you get a little thing in your tongue until now I noticed it. Oh, yeah. How does it work when you're singing? It doesn't affect you at all? I, I know it's a very silly yeah. question, but what the I've hell? I've had this for about 18 years. Ouch. And I do voiceovers for a living, so I, I had to get used to it very quickly as soon as it, I, I got it. Let's say within about two weeks or so, you, you couldn't tell I had it. But your tongue doesn't get numb, doesn't hurt, doesn't itch, doesn't bother you? Doesn't, no? Uh, honestly, I for forgot it was in there until you mentioned it. I haven't thought about I, it. I heard Stacy, and please correct <laughs> me if I'm mistaken, that it works pretty good with kissing. Yeah? Keep in the cutie. Don't blush, Jonathan. We're all in the family I'm here. A I'm a little shy. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. Now, you began playing uh, piano at the age of seven? Yes. Correct? Yes. Uh, and then you started songwriting at the age of eight? Yes. That's pretty early. Well, just being at the piano, my my family always had a piano in the yeah, house. Yeah, you come from I, a... I, yeah. From a music family. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, my oldest brother is a professional singer, and my uh, my other brother is an excellent singer in his own right also. Okay. But we always had a, a piano in the house, and I just was banging around on it, and I told my parents I wanted to take lessons, and they got me started. And once I had some basics down, of course, I started coming up with some ideas, and, and uh, I found it like an interesting creative outlet as a child. So uh, you got it. But how come? What about your guitar? You put your guitar away for 10 years. Oh, what yeah. happened there? I went to college. I'm allowed to ask yeah. you, right? Oh, yeah, please. Okay, please. I went to college uh, to study guitar, mm -hmm. and it's a really tough program. Why is it so tough? It was, it's a jazz school. I went to the University of North Texas, which is a phenomenal jazz program, and these guys are phenomenal jazz players, and I'm an okay jazz player, but it was a very tough environment for me who, you know, jazz was kind of a secondary thing for me. So when I got out of school, I had tendon, tendonitis from practicing six oh, or wow. seven hours a day. Uh -huh. And I just, I needed to be pain free for a while. So put the guitar in the case, slid it under the bed. So that's what it was. It was no psychological reason behind it. Not really. It Other was, than it just was being burned out. 
yeah. academically. I, I, I went and studied something academically that really is more of a heart type of thing. Right. So I was learning all the book side of things and the theory and everything, right. but I didn't really learn to feel the soul of music. How do I you learn to feel that soul? How do you learn to, f I mean, how do you find your voice? How do you, like your heart, how, how does it work? Is oh it calling, wow. is something that is very private, but how does it work for you? For me, it, it worked, it started working when I started trusting myself and-, and Trusting is a big Everyone thing. is different. Everyone is, has little things about them that make them different. And some people might hate those things about themselves that make them different, but the people who embrace what makes them different seem to excel it seems to to give them a little something extra and special and so when i started learning to embrace who i was i think my voice started to come out beautiful and it makes you realize that words are powerful words are so powerful right yes, definitely they're so powerful but anyway my guacamole is kicking now i can't <laughs> believe it this is insane and there's no way that i can take a break we're going live so what are we singing next uh, this next song is... It's uh, really bad. <laughs> it's really so bad. I, I gotta... Guys, I don't want to be bad, but this is bad. Okay? So what are we singing next? This song is called Run. It's it's my uh, new single. just came out last week. Okay, well, let's bring it on. And you keep blushing, Jonathan. <laughs> no. You keep blushing, man. <laughs> well, we packed our bags all through the night. Headed out for first light. No headlights into the night. Nobody wakes up, nobody else has to die. Race against the rising sun. Can't believe what we've just done. Well, I never meant to use the gun. I got nowhere left to go, just run. Counted cash in two below till we sang every other song we know. And then I heard the news on the radio that guard I shot left two little girls and a widow. Oh no. And she turned to me with fear in her eyes. It breaks my heart every time she cries. Well, I wish I'd never used that gun. I got nowhere left to go. Just run. Across the cornfield, felt that bullet rip across my thigh. Three steps sooner, and I've been safe and dry. Oh yeah, and I'm contemplating my next move, but every thought keeps coming back to you. Yeah, I got one more bullet in this gun. I got nowhere left to go, and I can't run. Told me so. 